Hey everybody, so I know somebody that's moving and they can't take their chainsaw with them. So yesterday they donated to me this steel chainsaw and I'm happy to have it. I always want to have an extra saw around. This saw is a MS-180C. I don't know if you can see that. But it's classified as a light duty uh, brush clean, storm cleanup, branch cutting type of saw. And today I'm going to put it through some work. I got some larger rounds here, bigger than branch wood, but we're just going to do some cutting on some rounds with it and see how it does. So I'm going to get gassed up and oiled up. Stay tuned. Okay, I have no idea what the gas situation is in this saw or anything. It's got a little bit of gas in it, but I don't know how old it is. So I'm just going to add a little bit of it. And this will be the first time I started this saw. So we'll just see how it does. I don't know uh, how easy it'll start up or anything. It had almost a full tank of gas, but the oil is almost empty. And I always seem to overflow the oil, so let's try not to overflow. Okay. Now I just want to do a quick little interjection here and post the stats on this saw from the Steel website. The model I'm using is the MS-180C and I, I assume that is the CBE and the B is the easy adjustable chain feature, quick adjustable chain, and the E is the easy start. And I mention that here in a minute when I start the saw that it feels a little different than my other saws the pull rope kind of pulls out kind of far and then engages and starts to have compression and then it just goes real easy and I, I'm not exactly sure what that is um, this saw was given to me but I will say the saw starts pretty easy it pulls very easily and once it gets started it starts every time on the first pull okay here we go with the First start on this saw, let's see how it does. I think it has some kind of, it might have that easy start feature on it. Because it's got a weird feel to the, you can pull it all the way out and then the compression starts.
Okay, so that did pretty good. It's really sharp and I like it for what it is. It'll get some work done. Now we're gonna put this thing to a little bit more of a test. I'm gonna try to noodle this larger hickory round in half with this MS-180. Let's see if it can handle it.
Okay, so that did pretty good. Uh, the, I think the tip sprocket got a little bound up for a second, but that's happened to me on all of my saws when you're doing heavy, heavy work and you got them buried. Uh, you typically just gotta kinda get that sprocket freed up again and it works fine. So that's not really a big deal. And I was like completely buried in the wood with it. So it was working really hard, but I'll get some use out of this thing. Here's a look at the uh, sawdust that this thing made, slash noodles, the chips, whatever you want to call them. And it did really good for just having a smaller chain and being a more light duty saw. I'm really impressed. That hickory is some of the toughest wood that I have encountered in the past several years. Um, I can't even get it to split with them all. Uh, check out the next video to see more about that. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and have a great day.